hello everyone welcome back to my channel in the last video we have seen how to compare the prices of different quotations and in this video we would understand how to reject a quotation so let's start the first step is to select the quotation that you want to process further and this quotation will have the best conditions now we have to choose edit quotation on the toolbar so this is the screen for edit quotation so this is the material and this these are the two vendors which would give this material so we've entered the prices as well and this is showing that this is the best vendor so this is the best vendor for us so from the me 47 transaction you have to select the item and click on the item details icon so this is the icon now then you have to enter the info update field so either you can enter b or c for the info update field in the quotation data to update the info record now in this field you can also find the rejection indicator which is used to reject the quotation which you do not want so we can use this option to reject it now info update has three important controls the first one is a blank value wherein the info record is not updated and then we have the a value where if an info record exists at plant level it is updated so the prices are updated when the info record exists in plant level otherwise an info record is updated at the purchase organization level then we have the b value if plant conditions are allowed for the plant the info record is updated at plant level and then we have the c field for info update wherein if plant conditions are not necessary for the plant an info record at purchase organization level is updated now this is on the maintain quotation screen and this is the field for info update wherein you have these four values which we just talked about that is blank a b c now then we have to save the data now rejecting the quotation now you should head back to the report screen and once you are there you can select the other quotation which you want to reject and you have to repeat the process until you are in the item detail screen you don't have to enter the information into info update field but you can tick the rejection indicator box as you are telling the system that you are rejecting this quotation now in the maintain quotation screen this is the rejection indicator that is there you can check this option now you will be prompted to print the rejection message for the items that are being rejected so you could inform the vendor what is the status of the offer now you can repeat the process for all the vendors and items that are rejected so after rejecting all the other quotations we would have just one quotation which is the final quotation and the vendor in the quotation is the final vendor from which we would procure the material in the next step when we are creating a po we would give the order to the vendor which has the best price so in a nutshell if you want to reject the quotation you have to choose the rfq or the quotation go into quotation and then click on maintain then you enter the rfq number for the quotation and then press enter the quotation item overview will appear now if you scroll down you would have a rejection indicator that is column r so you have to set the rejection indicator for each item you wish to reject now after that you have to choose edit and click on fast change and you can set the indicator for all the items in a single step and then you can save the quotation so that is all the steps about rejecting the quotation in another video we would go into the sap system and see how the rejection of the quotation happens in sap so that is all in this video if you got value from this video do like comment and share with your friends do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or feedback share them in the comment section below till we meet again next time you all take care and goodbye